Are we truly alone in the universe? Of course, an age-old question, but now brand new evidence is suggesting the answer is no. A team of researchers at Cambridge University say it's possible there's a distant ocean-covered world. With their data from the James Webb Telescope giving the strongest indication yet, there is, in fact, extraterrestrial life. The planet is called K218b. It's outside of our solar system by a lot, more than 120 light years away from Earth. With scientists dis discovering two gases in its atmosphere only produced by biological processes. Yeah. In short, this planet could be brimming with life. For more, I am joined by News Nation special correspondent Ross Coltart, investigative reporter and host of the Reality Check podcast, of course. Ross, good to see you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, Natasha. Ross, what can you tell us about this study? Is this a big deal? Look, it's a big deal, but it's still very, very tentative. Um, it's incredible what they've been able to do. This is a planet that is 124 light years away, incredibly distant. And so what they've been able to do is use the James Webb telescope to measure the wavelengths of light as that planet K218b moves across the light of a star, its, its adjacent star. And by measuring those wavelengths, they've been able to pick up something called dimethyl sulfide, which is essentially a smelly sulfurous gas that's <laughs> indicative of, of organic life. And so they think they've got possible evidence of organic life, which is quite exciting, but there are doubters and debunkers, and there's been an article published in the Nature magazine which suggests that their conclusions may be a bit hasty. But either way, it's a great demonstration of the capabilities of the James Webb Telescope, which is such an exciting piece of technology. And I think we are, uh, whether it's this discovery or something soon, I really do think we are on the cusp of finding planets that are habitable for life and it's possibly amazing. intelligent. It's, it's, it's heady stuff. Uh, so is the idea that dimethyl sulfide is not something that could just naturally exist, that something living must be there to produce that gas? Is that correct? Well, again, that's part of the complication. It's, it's not exclusively a product of... Um, organic molecules. Basically, it has been found on comets, and so you can't be categorical. One of the reasons some scientists are urging caution is because there may be a non-organic reason for why this stuff is mm. there. But, look, it's exciting, and I think we <laughs> should be... Uh, we should be looking at it with great excitement. It's a wonderful demonstration of solid, good science, and it's still yet to be tested and proven. Yeah, tell me more about the process of getting something like that proven. How would one confirm this? How long would that take? Is it even likely? Well, the James Webb Telescope's going to do more follow-up work. And as you know, it's on the other side of the moon in a position where it can basically look out at the, the universe, the adjacent universe, and in this case, out to 124 light years, which is an unimaginable distance, an extraordinary distance away. So it's quite amazing that we're able to do this kind of measurement of the wavelengths of the planetary light. But short of that, we are going to try and do better measurements with the James Webb, but there's no way we can send a robotic drone there because it would take billions of lifetimes for, to get there. <laughs> And, and so, really, there's no really solid way of proving it beyond doing more accurate Got measurements it. of the wavelengths of light. With the short time we have, let's talk about the newly released Tic Tac UFO video. A footage shot in 2023, Navy sailors off the coast of California. Four unknown objects appear to fly away in a synchronized formation, similar to a sighting nearly two decades ago. Ross, what is standing out to you about this? The simple fact is that whatever this phenomenon is, it's now corroborated and verified by witnesses, first-hand witnesses, and by technology operated by the US Navy. This is not some idle speculation by people who don't know what they're talking about. This is verified data, and it's important that we get to the truth of just exactly what these objects are. They appear to be intelligently controlled. Let's find out what they are. Let's find out. Ross Coltart, always good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.